Located in the central highlands region of Tasmania, the Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park and Cradle Mountain Peak itself offer some of the most dramatic countryside and stunning views the state has to offer. The park is a paradise for tourists, photographers and wildlife alike, as well as hikers with no limit to the incredible trails and views to explore. With that said, a big welcome back to my channel and to episode 8 of sharing new bucket list adventure and inspiration each week this year, where today we will be exploring Cradle Mountain and more specifically the Cradle Mountain Summit Walk. Having just arrived in Tasmania on a month-long family trip, we headed straight over to the Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park, an incredible area covering a stunning 1,614 square kilometres. The park undoubtedly has a lot to offer, from the world-renowned overland track hike to its shorter walking tracks and trails, which I wanted to share briefly before jumping into the summit hike with you. The first and possibly most popular of the area's shorter walks is the Dove Lake Circuit, a two to three hour, six kilometer circuit following boardwalk around Dove Lake, as the name suggests. The circuit provides access to a number of lookout points and branch off tracks, as well as the beautifully built Dove Lake boat shed right on the water's edge. This track is very beautiful, accessible, and one I'd highly recommend. Moving further out is the Lake Lilla Track, a short walking track leading alongside one of the area's many pools. Once again, the lake is edged by stunning mountain views in every direction and links into further walking tracks to access either Wombat Pool, Marion's Lookout or Ronnie Creek. Ronnie Creek, aside from being the starting point to the week-long overland track, is a beautiful wooden boardwalk crosses open grassy fields and streams and is a haven for Tasmania's beautiful fluffy wombats to sleep and graze. The wildlife here is protected by National Park and easiest to spot around dusk or dawn. They are incredibly friendly and if you're lucky you may even spot a wombat or two walking alongside the boardwalk with you. For the more adventurous, the Cradle Mountain Summit hike is a six to eight hour full day walk starting from the Dove Lake car park. All walks beyond the visitor center are accessible by a park's shuttle bus included in a Cradle Mountain or Tasmania Parks pass. From which point you can choose a mix of tracks varying in difficulty from steep to mild ascent. The circuit we took was by far one of the steeper, but in my opinion, more rewarding routes leading out from Dove Lake, past the boat shed, up Marion's lookout link track, the more popular option being to go around Wombat Pool as shown here, onto the overland track, past Kitchen Hut, and up to the Cradle Mountain Summit, before returning to Dove Lake Car Park via Lake Wilkes Track. Marion's Lookout Link Track, being a direct route up the mountain face, is a steady but stunning climb, using chains to guide your way up the trail and opening out into some incredible early views of the landscape and track ahead. Overlooking Lake Lilla, Ronnie Creek and the rugged Hanson Peak across Dove Lake. Crossing over to the Overland Track, the climb continues to an elevation of 1,223 metres at Marion's Lookout. Looking directly down over the park, this popular vantage point is a perfect spot to stop for a break and look up at the view of Cradle Mountain ahead. On this occasion, unfortunately hidden in the clouds. The weather, as anyone who's lived in or visited Tasmania, will understand is very changeable, particularly in the higher elevation and mountains, varying from snow and rain to sunshine and everything in between. The clouds that you can see on the summit and country ahead just yesterday were completely clear, 
but I think despite the lack of visibility, it truly adds to the magic of the landscape as mountains seemingly appear from the mist right in front of you as you walk. A vast majority of this section of overland track is boardwalk or otherwise well-maintained rock trail. Kitchen Hut, built as an emergency storm shelter hut, is a beautiful stop off and great spot to relax before branching off the overland track to tackle the summit. The hut is two storey to allow access in and out to passing hikers in the worst of winter snowstorms. But even in the wild summer winds of our visit, a great place to explore in the cold. From here, the real challenge starts. Branching off to the Cradle Mountain Summit, the beautiful boardwalk paths quickly become rock steps and then progressively more fun and challenging rock scrambling to the top. Unfortunately, at this stage for us, the weather was starting to worsen, bringing in more low-lying fog and cloud and with it stronger winds. I personally completed the Cradle Mountain Summit for the first time around a year ago in similar rainy whiteout conditions and despite being an exciting experience, unfortunately just had no view at the top whatsoever, hence leaving it on the bucket list and returning for this trip with the hopes of summiting to a clearer view. The track up beyond this point is marked only by poles and really is more of a rock scramble than a walk with a few fun but challenging steps, climbs and jumps to work your way through. Then just when you think you've reached the top, the track drops down a decline and then up again. And again, making you really work to reach the top despite almost being at the summit elevation from the first dip in the track. The view along the way as the clouds opened up, however, was unreal. The summit itself sits at an elevation of 1,545 meters, and yes, unfortunately, was still very much in a whiteout. With sheer luck, however, we did catch this break in the clouds, with the view opening up enough to look down on the overland track, out over the valley and Barn Bluff in the distance, standing at a height of 1,559 metres. A view the only other hikers at the summit told us was clearer than anything they'd seen in the last 45 minutes of waiting. A number of other hikers we passed either decided not to summit for the weather or upon returning said they had no view at all, much like my previous year's climb. Lowering elevation off the mountain again opened up some incredible views and made for an unreal climb down. Instead of returning via Marion's lookout this time, we ventured onto Lake Wilkes Track, a boardwalk and rock path running below the cradle of the Cradle Mountain Peak. Opening up to stunning Dove Lake views. For comparison, this is a photo of last year's climb on the left, then our current view on the right for how much of a difference the ever-changing weather can make. The descent down is much like Marion's Lookout Link Track, following a steep set of chains. Before returning to the Dove Lake car park around Dove Lake. In total, I think this trip took around 12 kilometers to complete and clocked about seven or so hours, including stops to take photos and take in the views. Overall, I have to say I absolutely love this park and can't wait to be back here shortly. After climbing, my final tips would be, if possible and time allows, choose to hike in the clearest day you can. Allow a whole day to make the most of your walk and enjoy the views as much as possible. I hope you've enjoyed this hike just as much as we did and I look forward to sharing another stunning bucket list Tassie adventure again next week.